So good afternoon dear ladies and gentlemen and English learners, uh, welcome to Target IELTS. Uh, so in this video, uh, our student uh, will be taking his mock exam and so let's watch it and enjoy. So good afternoon dear IELTS candidate, this is the mock exam which is taking place at International Target School and there will be three parts. Uh, in the first part you will be asked some general questions uh, based on your interest and yourself. Uh, so are you ready? Yeah, I am ready. So can we start? Yeah, yeah. So can I have your name please? My full name is Azam Khan Abdurrahman. Can you spell your first name please? Yeah, of course. A Z A M K H O N. So Azam Khan so, Azam Khan, uh, do you work or are you a student? Currently, I am applicant. Mm -hmm. I have been learning English for six months. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm nowadays I am preparing for inter to university. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, Azam Khan, what is the most difficult part of learning English? One of the most uh, difficult part was for me, uh, reading tasks. I uh, faced to some uh, challenges which is related to uh, multiple choice and uh, mm -hmm. other tasks. Uh -huh. Okay, so Azam, let's talk about uh, watching TV. Do you watch TV? Uh, when I was a child, I used to watch TV, mm -hmm. but uh, now I, you, I I am using from phone for mm -hmm. uh, preparing my tasks, for example, listening or uh, uh, watching some kind of videos which is related to English language. Okay, thank you. So, uh, why do people watch TV? I think uh, they uh, watch TV uh, f just relaxing or for spending time. Mm -hmm. And uh, usually in our country, uh, young people watch TV uh, uh, for uh, watching cartoons. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. What are the advantages and disadvantages of watching TV? There are many uh, advantages and drawbacks uh, uh, watching TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the main advantages uh, is they get relaxed uh, and uh, other uh, when it comes to disadvantage uh, it is uh, harmful for regions mm -hmm. okay thank you um, so uh, let's talk about uh, science do you like drawing yeah, of course, I have a knack uh, for drawing pictures, mm -hmm. which is related to buildings, or uh -huh. I have a knack for drawing uh, buildings, pictures. Uh -huh. Is it easy to learn how to draw? I think it is easy for me, uh, but uh, sometimes it um, makes some challenges for some people. Uh, how? Uh, how uh, they, it, it is actually related to people's imaginations and uh -huh. their wo uh, wanting uh, skills. Uh -huh. So, do you often visit museums? Uh, to be totally upfront, I visit uh, museums once or twice a month mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the museums uh, isn't uh, very developed in our country uh -huh. and I haven't uh, free time for visiting uh, museums. Okay, thank you. Uh, what can people learn from museums? Uh, I think they may learn their ancient, uh, ancient place or ancient uh, goods mm -hmm. and uh, they may uh, learn their ancient, uh, ancient related life uh, and uh, such kind of related to these things. Okay, so let's talk about sport. Do you do sport? Yeah, of course, I do sport every morning. Uh, 
for example, I run every day and uh, I stroll uh, do, uh, around the street with my friends. Okay, do you think that morning exercise is important? Uh, yeah, of course, why not? It's uh, important for actually boys because they should uh, grow uh, from their childhood uh, stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives help uh, to grow uh, stronger mm -hmm. uh, do sport. Okay, thank you very much. So this is end of the part one and we will continue with part two. Okay. In part two, you will be given a cue card where you have to speak about two minutes and also you will have a time to prepare your notes if you wish. Here's your question and here the paper and here the pencil. If you wish, you can take notes. You have one minute to prepare your answer. Uh, dear Alice candidate, time is up. Please start speaking right now. Okay, uh, I know many people who can lead uh, well, but here uh, I would like to talk about a person uh, uh, he, uh, whom I consider a good leader, uh -huh. uh, and it would be definitely my uh, the best friend. Ja uh -huh. His name is Jasur, uh, and uh, he has all the uh, qualities needed to be a grid. Uh, a good uh, leader, like uh, being able to make quick and the right decision. Uh, actually, he is an active person uh, when it comes to organizing some parties or organizing competitions among uh, students. Uh, I met uh, him uh, when I was studying third grade mm -hmm. and uh, we, has, we have been friends since uh, from days. And, uh, uh, when uh, he has he he hasn't uh, uh, he hasn't any uh, hesitation when he is speaking with teachers and uh, when he is talking uh, to friends uh, according to me uh, so uh, another interesting thing is that he has always participating school presentations and uh, he hold uh, and uh, he helped uh, uh, us with our uh, studies uh, and other assignments. Mm -hmm. So he was uh, one of the intellectual students at uh, school. Now I really appreciate uh, with his professions. Mm -hmm. He is a uh, chairman at uh, charity organizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, uh, he always helped uh, to people who are suffering from short uh, food shortages and uh, hunger. Uh -huh. uh, uh, another, uh, he always uh, uh, he always uh, he always tried to teach uh, poor conditions family with free lessons, uh -huh. which uh, is related to their uh, they like uh, subjects uh, and. Uh, I proud of with my uh, friend. Uh -huh. Okay, so thank you very much. Time is up. So this is the end of the part two and we will continue with part three. In part three, we will be asked some questions which is related to part two. And so what do you think, Azamhan? What are the main qualities of being a good leader? First and uh, foremost, uh, it should be pointed out uh, the Leaders should uh, know managing time and uh, should uh, know how to solve problems. Okay, uh, so uh, do you think people are born to be leaders? Uh, I think uh, they, it, uh, it is wrong uh, because uh, each pupil bore, uh, each pupil try to be a good leader uh, harder and uh, they should have uh, experience experiences to be a good leader and uh, to be a good leader demand some kind of tasks and uh, knowledge uh, if uh, the people are if someone going to be a good leader they should try uh, to 
hard and that they should try to learn uh, uh, which is related to uh, to be a good leader uh, and uh, they should have uh, some knowledge okay, thank you so who does usually make decision in Uzbek typical family uh, from uh, my perspective uh, in uh, Uzbek families usually uh, make a decision older people mm -hmm. uh, older old ages so uh, for example when it comes to my family my parents make this decision uh, when I am going to do something I usually ask from uh, first I usually ask from my father uh, and once he have uh, let me I do uh, my tasks mm -hmm. okay uh, so do you think that leaders should consider others opinion when they are making decision yeah of course it would be unfair uh, if they don't uh, consider other decisions uh, for example uh, even president should uh, consider others uh, opinions for example uh, citizens uh, mm -hmm. Uh, also, uh, the, uh, the leaders uh, ought, to, uh, ought to be considered uh, the staff's uh, opinions. Okay, thank you very much, Azamhan. This is the end of the mock test. Thanks for participating. Okay, thank you. So in this episode, uh, the feedbacks and the uh, uh, marking criteria will be presented. Um, so for this performance, I would give 5.5. Uh, Actually, the exam was uh, good, not bad, uh, but our candidate should work on his speaking skills because he has a uh, problems um, in this section. Uh, so, uh, for as you know, the speaking test is assessed uh, by four criteria. They are fluency and coherence, and lexical resource, and grammar. And the last one is the pronunciation. So for the fluency and coherence, uh, I would give six band score. Actually, uh, uh, he is willing to speak at length and he tried to uh, make the extended uh, sentences. So it was uh, good, but sometimes he had some hesitations. Um, so uh, I would say it's six six and for the lexical resource i would give a six uh, actually had uh, enough vocabulary to discuss uh, a variety of uh, topics in part uh, in part one we discussed uh, different topics and he was able to speak uh, in different topics and for the uh, grammar section i would give a six as well actually had a good range of grammar and he tried to use the complex sentence but at some point he failed to use the complex sentence and uh, he had the problems to connect the uh, sentences um, but he tried to use the complex sentence uh, for the uh, for the pronunciation uh, criteria i would give Five. Actually, uh, the pronunciation uh, section is he's the most, uh, he's the weakest uh, point, and he made uh, different uh, pronunciation mistakes, uh, like uh, opinion. Actually, it should be opinion, not opinion. He made it uh, different times, and he said intellect or it, actually it should be intellectual um, so for the pronunciation uh, for the pronunciation criteria I would give five so in total uh, it is 5.5 but I know he has a potential to get uh, more than seven in real exam but for this performance it is 5.5 thank you